Hi, welcome back to Rama Reddy Maths Academy. Today, which is I am going to explain a very, very important and very new topic for engineering that is the Fourier transforms. Before going to explain the Fourier transforms, first of all, what is the Laplace and what is the use of Laplace and what is the Fourier series and what is the use of Fourier and what is the relation between these three Laplace transform, Fourier transform and uh, Fourier series. First of all, before going to learn Fourier transforms, all you must know the Fourier series. First of all, I think your syllabus direct some people having only the Fourier transforms. First of all, Laplace transforms is the most important integral transforms in engineering and it is used to solve the ordinary differential equation. What is the use of Laplace transforms? By using the Laplace transforms, we are solving the ordinary differential O differential equations and next one is the Fourier transforms which is also an integral transform find its applications in solving the partial differential equation where we can use the Fourier transforms in solving the partial differentiation we are using the Fourier transforms and another one is first of all before going to study the Fourier transforms, what is the Fourier series? In the Fourier series, actually, if f of x is a Fourier series that can be expressed in the limited means, first of all, you want to know the periodic function. If the periodic function, suppose uh, fx is defined in the interval, if you consider this is a periodic function, this is defined in the interval minus l comma l. It can be expressed in the Fourier series. It is the bounded, it is the bounded interval. By extending this concept non-periodic, this is applicable in periodic function. What Fourier series? Okay, but this, this is what periodic function we can apply it in Fourier series, it can be bounded, then you are then we are going to apply the Fourier series. But by extending this topic, this concept non-periodic function defined in the interval unbounded that is minus infinite to infinite. Here the function which is non-periodic function, non-periodic. Here it is a periodic function in the Fourier series. It is applicable only for the bounded intervals. In the non, in the Fourier transforms, it is extended the periodic. That is the non-periodic. The limits, the it is extended to unbounded. It can be expressed as a Fourier transform. Are the main thing the Fourier transform and into the Laplace and into the Laplace will use and by using the Laplace we are going to solve the ordinary differential equation. Fourier series and into each and twenty periodic function ki bounded intervals lo matra me we are able to solve. This is applicable only the bounded intervals and extending the non-periodic function periodic nunchi non-periodic kelte the limit is also extended unbounded intervals and infinite intervals each in a put a solve and mana Fourier transforms okay in the law first of all before going to discuss the Fourier transforms you all must know one word that is the integral transforms of a function suppose the function is f of x or it may be f of x or it may be f of t you wish now, I need to consider a function in terms of f of t. Why? Because it is a time domain. It is mapped with time domain and the frequency domain. Okay, here f of t. This is the integral transform. Integral transform definition. Integral of f of t is 0 to b f of t k p of t dt. Anukunte k p of t which is nothing but the kernel of that integral transforms this is what integral transform this is nothing but what 
kernel of the integral transforms depends upon the kernel value the transform will change how it is suppose i'll consider the kernel is e to the power of minus pt for suppose the function the kernel value is this then the boundaries is zero a is zero and b is infinite then what is the function it will change it to laplace of f of t kernel value e to the power of minus pt ट्रांसफॉर्म इट वि converted in terms of laplace transform okay but in kokati kernel value if it is e to the power of i p t ante complex values teeskunnappudu the limit it will be it will be changed to unbounded minus infinite to infinite to minus infinite okay appudu em avutundi one second it will change it to minus infinite sorry a is what ma a lower limit right it is minus infinite this is plus infinite minus infinite to infinite if it is the complex exponential then it will change it to the function in terms of minus infinite to infinite in the place of f of t you need to write what is our in the place of kernel what is our value e to the power of i p t f of t dt this is nothing but our fourier transform ide enti manaki Fourier transform. Normal problems इच ने पुरे Fourier complex form. This is the Fourier complex form. इला solve चाहिए आले complex form लो. I will explain later. Next classes लो. First of all, what is the kernel? What is integral transforms? If the the kernel having uh, normal exponential, it will change it to Laplace. If the kernel value is exponential in terms of complex, it will change it to complex fourier transform okay ardham ayindi kada din tarvata manaku chinna small oka proof undandi din tarvata dan nunchi sin transform ela vachindi cos transform ela vachindi i will explain one by one see all of you this is what fourier integral theorem what is the integral theorem statement states that f of x is equal to 1 by pi integral 0 to infinite and integral minus infinite to infinite f of t cos p of t minus x dt dp this is the statement this is very very important by using this only we are going to find the sine transform and cosine transform also and uh, this is the applica ap applications of the problems also సో దీన్ని ఎలా సాల్వ్ చేయాలి దీని నుంచి సైన్ ఎలా వస్తుంది కాస్ ఎలా వస్తుంది వాటిని ప్రాబ్లమ్స్కి ఎలా అప్లై చేయాలి ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ వన్ బై వన్ ప్లీజ్ వీడియోని లాస్ట్ వరకు చూడండి లైక్ చేయండి షేర్ చేయండి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయండి చూసి వెళ్ళిపోకుండా కామెంట్ చేయండి ఓకే ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ హియర్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు డూ ద గివెన్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు దిస్ హియర్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రూవ్ దిస్ బై యూజింగ్ ద ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ సిరీస్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ యూ డోంట్ నో ద ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ సిరీస్ ఐ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ద ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఇన్ ద ఇంటిగ్రల్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ హియర్ ద ఫోర్ ఇయర్ సిరీస్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈజ్ by using the fourier series we are we are going to prove that one okay here the fourier series expansion the fourier series f of x which is defined f of x is nothing but a not by 2 a not by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinite a n cos n pi x by l plus b n or you can write like this also plus summation of this and again the rendered ki summation also the din ila go write so take the summation common then b n sin n pi x by l this is our fourier 
series idi mana four year series andi kaani we know that from a four year series we know a not a n and b n values first of all what is a not value a not from the four year series we know that our a not is 1 by l if you define the interval in terms of l to minus l you can write it as l if you define the interval in terms of c gamma minus c meer c raayandi kontha mandi wala faculty c ani cheppochu kontha mandi l ani cheppochu but don't don't worry final ga we'll get this result okay this is what 1 by l integral of minus l to l minus l to l f of t dt this is what minus f of t dt this is a not then a n a n is 1 by l integral minus l to l f of t cos n pi here x we consider now i'll going to consider t n pi t by l dt b n em anukuntano b n is equal to 1 by l minus l to l f of t sin n pi t by l dt okay నేను ఇప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తానంటే సబ్స్టిట్యూటింగ్ ఏ నాట్ ఏ వన్ ఏఎన్ బిఎన్ వాల్యూస్ ఇన్ వన్ పుట్ ఏ నాట్ ఏఎన్ బిఎన్ ఇన్ వన్ వన్లో సబ్స్టిట్యూట్ చేస్తే నాకు ఫస్ట్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఎలా కన్వర్ట్ అవుతుందంటే ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు చూడండి అమ్మా ఏ నాట్ ఈజ్ రీప్లేస్డ్ విత్ వన్ బై ఎల్ అప్పుడు ఇది ఏమవుతుంది వన్ బై టూ ఎల్ ఏ నాట్ ఈజ్ రీప్లేస్డ్ విత్ దిస్ వన్ బై టూ ఎల్ దెన్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ మైనస్ ఎల్ టూ ఎల్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ టీ డిటి అవుతుంది ఈజ్ ఇట్ క్లియర్ నెక్స్ట్ ఏఎన్ ఏఎన్ ఇది వన్ బై ఎల్ అంటే నేను ఏమని రాయచ్చు ఇక్కడ ఏఎన్ని సమేషన్ ఈజ్ హోల్ కామన్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ఓకే చూడండి ఇందులో వన్ బై ఎల్ వస్తుంది ఇందులో వన్ బై ఎల్ ఈ రెండు టర్మ్స్లో ఉన్న వన్ బై ఎల్ అండ్ సమేషన్ సేమ్ అండ్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో సేమ్ షుల్ ఐ రైట్ ఓన్లీ వన్ టైమ్ అప్పుడు అది ఏమవుతుంది వన్ బై ఎల్ సమేషన్ n is equal to 1 to infinite limit minus l to l e three terms e rendit lo common right take it out then the what is the remaining term here f of t student ela rastanu ikkada em undandi idi first f of t rayandi a n place lo cos n pi t by l ikkada inkoka term undi entidi cos n pi x by l okay tarvata bn bn term lo already nen idi 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 common thesanu bn em ostundi naaku 1 by l f of t f of t sin n pi t by l and another one is sin n pi x by l into whole what whole dt and is it clear ippudu nen din name an rastanante chudandi this is 1 by 2l minus l to l f of t dt ikkada chudandamma f of t f of t same right cos cos same cos common this is ikkada din name an rayachu n by t by l n by x by l ante nen danni n by t by l n by x sorry sorry danikante mundu oka formula apply cheyali first of all nen din ela rastanu ante 1 by l summation 1 to infinite integral and l value this summation is same and another one is f of t is also common shall i write common f of t mir f of t common thesar ankonde suppose nen ikkade common thesanu appudu ikka raadandi okay appudu chudandi ide formula undi cos a cos b 
प्लस साइन ए साइन बी कॉस ए कॉस बी प्लस साइन ए साइन बी अंत मन रायचु कॉस ए मैनस बी ए इधे बी अवना अंत का मैनस बी एंटी एन पाई टी बै एल बी अंटी एन पाई एक्स बै एल ए मैनस बी रास तरह यह रेलो इवि काम कदा एन पै शेल टेक इट अवट टी मैनस एक्स एन पै काम एल इज़ आलो काम न्यूमरेटर एन पै काम डिनामेटर एल काम रायचु टी मैनस एक्स इंटू एन पाई बै एल एला रायचु का मैनस बी दट वाट टी मैनस एक्स इंटू एन पाई बै एल इज इट क्लियर ओके इपड़ दी नेला चूँगी इंट वाट What is the term? D T. You can consider as two. Okay. Since if I can only choose one. Since cos A cos cos A minus B cos A cos B plus sin A sin B is nothing but cos of A minus B. Okay. If you need any man, go to na na de. If this is convergent, ella choose one. See all of you. See, good day, man. Now this is the form. Up after applying cos a minus cos b. For suppose let the infinite, the integral minus infinite to infinite modulus of f of x dx is convergent. Means what? That is, it has a finite value. It is convergent means it has a finite value. Now you are assuming the limit l tends to what infinite in the equation two. In the two, this term will going to what? This term will going to zero. Why? Because limit l tends to infinite. This will converges. Why? Because if you apply I l tends to infinite, then one by infinite, it will become to what zero. For that, this term will going to zero. Now, if you put pi by x, why? Because and in our series we have n pi by l here, pi by l. Now, I in the place of pi by l, I'll put delta p in the second term here. Okay, in equation two. After that, we move to the x. n by x by l this is equal to what chudandi n pi by l is equal to delta p then see, l is equal to what delta p by what delta p by l is equal to pi by delta p it is delta p tends to zero then it will change it to 1 by pi apudi em avutundi minus l to l cos ipudu nenu em substitute chesanu chudandi cos t minus x n pi by l we need to substitute pi by l is delta p that will become to delta p here n is common right as it is dt and if this is changed to delta p then converges to delta p this is this will become to dp sorry dp okay as it is apdi em avutundi now l tends to in, uh, infinite delta p tends to zero now if it is uh, changed this way delta p tends to zero in the equation 3 it will become to 1 by pi and one more manak teliyalsindi entante if the function n is equal to 1 to infinite pi of n comma delta p of delta p is equal to pi of p 0 to infinite by, by using that i am entering uh, I, am, i am taking 0 to infinite tarvata ide as it is l tends to minus infinite to infinite and rasanu okay tarvata em avutundi l tends to infinite nen two lo substitute chesthe now i'll get this proof okay clear now by using this i need to prove the laplace sign transform and cosine transform